Good morning, this is Brian Rankins with Fazio's Frets and Friends, and I hold on my lap one of the Taylor Fall Limits. This happens to be the Coca Bola uh, Grand Symphony Limited, uh, which is an absolutely incredible guitar. And, um, you know, when you hear people uh, describe what the tonal qualities are of particular tone woods, uh, a lot of them reference Coca Bola as being very, very Brazilian rosewood like, um, with not quite as much low end as. Uh, uh, as East Indian rosewood. Yet, the funny part about it is is that uh, the latest models that we've seen coming from Taylor have really kind of defied that. Um, this has a lot of low-end response and much more than some of the uh, 816s that we've seen. So basically that same kind of guitar, same size guitar but in an East Indian rosewood. These Coca-Bola guitars have really been just uh, amazing been a great, great head turner because it is a beautiful guitar and Coca Bola is one of those rarities that we, uh, we don't always see a ton of. Just a real beauty and essence to the, uh, to the overall sound. Uh, really balanced but with that powerful low end that uh, we don't always see in East Indian. So don't always uh, take what you read uh, uh, as gospel because this is wood. And wood is one of those things that while we try to define it as best we can, there's no way to pigeonhole every cut of Coca Bola as sounding the same. It just doesn't work that way. They all have little signatures in them, but at the same time, uh, this particular model just happens to have so much low end it isn't funny. Um, beautiful, beautiful appointments. The guys at Taylor really have done a great job, as they always do, in making a uh, a guitar just a very elegant looking piece of art besides sonically uh, being incredible. So as I said this particular one uh, has a Coca Bola back and sides. It has, uh, I love these limited editions because the limiteds always have such huge value built in them. So you have the upgrade of having a gorgeous uh, maple flame maple binding. The rosette and the inlays adding the box would really just give it kind of a really classy look. They've upgraded to the Goto 510 tuners, which are my favorite, and they've also done a Coca Bola backstrap too. So, this is just one of those really, really remarkable guitars that is beautiful to look at and even more beautiful to play. So, if you're in the area, swing by Fazio Sprets and Friends, uh, stop by, let us give you a little test drive of these, and uh, see if you don't agree. And if not, please check us out online at FazioSmusic.com.